Hello again guys, it's Corey here. Today we're going to remove this interior door panel on my Golf Mark IV. So we're going to go ahead and get started. There's a Phillips screw right here in this corner. Go ahead and remove that now. You need a stubby style screwdriver because there's not much room here. Alright, now that we have that removed we can come down to the lower part of the panel. And you can see right up in here, there's a uh, torque screw there. There are three of these under here. They are T20. So you need a T20 size Torx bit. And go ahead and remove those. Be careful not to drop them. All right, now for the next step. All right, what we need to do now is remove this inner part of this pull handle here. So I have this plastic pry tool. I'm going to try to get down in here and just pry away like so and you can see it just come out of its uh, spot there and uh, that's what it looks like. You can see it's held in by those three little uh, plastic things there. Alright, now we can go ahead and lift this up. our connector. This just simply pulls out of the back here. Okay, to remove this connector here, all you need to do is push down on this lever on the connector itself and then pull straight out like that. Now that that's out of the way, we have access to these three larger Phillips head screws. Go ahead and remove those now. Make sure you have the right sized head on the Phillips uh, screwdriver you're using. This is, I believe, a number three sized head. Fits on there perfectly. These are in there pretty tight. I like to use a magnet to get these out of here, like so, it makes it easier. Alright, now we can pop this panel off of the door itself. Now on the back side here we have this connection here for the uh, door handle so you need to remove this. Just pull that little hook out of that uh, lever here. Right here. And then you can take the panel off. Just be careful with your door lock. This just pulls right out here. Just be careful of that. Okay so that's what that little hook looks like once you remove it. So that black plastic clip is kind of what holds it in with those two little teeth on the front of it. So you got to kind of lift that up and then it pulls out. Now it's just a pain of uh, holding the panel and trying to disconnect all of these connections. So 
I already have this one taken off of uh, this gray area right here, which is your control for your mirrors. And um, then we move down here, we have this one, which operates your um, hatch release or trunk release and uh, fuel uh, door. So I have to remove this. And these just pull right out. Um, sometimes they can be a pain, but you gotta grab on the side there and just pull out. These are all pretty much the same setup. We have this one down here for our uh, light. Try to grab this. There we go. And this one here, which is uh, for this little light here. I don't know why there's duct tape on this, but somebody was in here before. Okay, so I could probably set this panel down now. Yeah, there's enough room here. All right, so then you just pull this one out, like so. Looks like that. Okay, now we can set our door panel aside. And that's how you remove a door panel. So now you have access to your speaker, window motor control, and if you need to replace the tweeter or replace your side mirror, you can do that as well. Thanks for watching guys, hope this helped you out. Please subscribe and check out all of my other Volkswagen videos. Take care guys, see you in the next one.